Update 13 arrived in the game last week bringing to an end the opening acts of the Azimuth Saga, the Rise of Salvation and the start of what Frontier are now calling the Aftermath. The enormity of the events in HIP 22460 go way beyond the plot points around the simple failure of the Proteus device and the disappearance of Salvation however. Something has happened as a result of those events and I think it's about to change the topography of the Elite Dangerous Galaxy forever. You know the drill here. If you haven't already be sure to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon and select all notifications to ensure that you don't miss any of our future content and if you'd like to directly support the work of this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. When the Proteus Wave was corrupted by the Thargoids last week and turned against its former masters destroying everything in HIP 22460 rendering Guardian based weaponry in the system useless you may have thought that was the end of the story and that the galaxy would now return to its former status quo just with a solitary no go system in it. The nature of what has happened in 22460 coupled with Frontiers language when talking about the events however point to something on the horizon with much larger consequences for the entire player base. Once corrupted by the Thargoids the wave rather than a singular explosive event that passes through a system and clears it of Thargoids evolved into a field. The new Proteus field is constantly in effect. It doesn't pass through and it's gone. It's ever present and what's more it seems to be emanating from a fixed point in the system what was previously a largely benign active Thargoid surface site. In converting the wave to a field and then using that field to disable the Guardian technology that could efficiently kill Thargoids the dangerous daffodils have to all intents and purposes taken control of and are holding that system. Galnet has even reported in game that HIP 22460 is now Thargoid owned territory. Frontier have said as much as well commenting that the system had fallen to the Thargoids. This is entirely new behaviour from our galactic neighbours. Their previous incursions into human occupied space have always been driven back. In recent times as pilots have become more adept at AX combat and gained more access to better technology fairly easily driven back in fact. We have no reason to believe at the moment that the Proteus field cannot be replicated by the Thargoid in other systems where they have a surface presence. If that's the case then we could rapidly be facing the growth of a Thargoid no go bubble right on our doorstep. If they were to stay in their own bubble whilst less than ideal it wouldn't prove too problematic. However previous Thargoid actions have shown that they are more than willing to expand infringing even on the bubble of human space surrounding Sol. How a Thargoid surface installation is constructed or arrives in a system is currently an unknown. We've never known them to spread. However if the events of the last week have shown us anything it's that the Thargoids of old are not what they used to be. I do think it likely we're going to see the Thargoids spreading through their own area of space and could even see them taking terrain in the bubble. Whilst at this point this is speculation there is enough evidence to suggest at least that both scenarios are probable. I don't think the spread will be quick but I do think it's coming. Firstly overtaking their own pocket of space and then pushing toward the bubble. As I've mentioned how Thargoid surface sites are constructed or deployed is unknown currently but Frontier were very keen for the community to take note of the Thargoid scream that was heard at the end of the Proteus cinematic last week. The scream was unlike anything we've heard before and I think it extremely likely the noise is emanating from some previously unseen class of Thargoid vessel. Possibly something involved in the deployment of surface installations in some way. There's been some speculation in the community recently that all this will lead to a new tree that must be climbed to obtain better weapons to kill Thargoids that are immune to the Proteus field. That is of course a possibility. How that affects the current crop of Guardian technology options I'm not sure. They could of course be engineered but I think it more likely that we'll need to find a way to negate the Proteus field and make our existing weapons useful again in a Thargoid controlled system. 
This content is being implemented as part of Odyssey and the 4.0 codebase. If we just had to get new Thargoid weapons for our ships that would ignore Odysseys on foot component entirely. My personal preference would be for the existing weapons to remain as is and for on foot gameplay to be required to negate the effects of the field in space. We know that the field emanates from a Thargoid surface site. It's logical then to assume that incursion into one of these sites in order to switch off or destroy the Proteus effect entirely would be required. Until now the Thargoid sites have mostly been devoid of any significant Thargoid life save for a few scavenger units. Going forward into Elite's next generation however that may no longer be the case and we may end up face to slavering Mandeville with actual Thargoids on their turf. If there's new weapons to be gained it's in this arena then that that seems more likely and appropriate to me. If all this is correct then what happens to player faction owned starports, settlements and stations in a Thargoid captured system? Will all those assets simply be lost? Honestly that seems unlikely to me. I think access to them whilst the incursion is in place would be lost and once an incursion is cleared and then the Thargoid removed it's likely there will be massive infrastructure repair requirements both in space and on the surface but I find it unlikely that a Thargoid version of the BGS would control a factions assets in the traditional sense and require control wrestling back from them beyond what I've outlined here. Right now as I've said this is all conjecture and speculation but if all this comes to pass then fighting a Thargoid incursion in your neighbours system could prove advantageous to stop any potential spread onto your own turf. And after an incursion has been cleared then there will likely be plenty of work for haulers, rescue pilots and mission runners of all shapes and sizes to assist in the cleanup leading to bags more gameplay that doesn't involve combat as the infrastructure in the system is repaired and restored to operation. It just may be that the real impact of update 13 is yet to be truly felt. Where do you think all this is going? Do you believe the Thargoids will stay in the Pleiades region and spread no further than HIP 22460? What made that scream at the end of the cinematic? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.